In this video, I'll be discussing how to create assembly configurations in Onshape. I'll begin by uh, discussing how to create a very basic configuration with this box, and then I'll move on to something more complicated where I work with a uh, FRC style uh, subsystem. So uh, I've configured this box so you can alternate between uh, closed and open. When it's open, the lid uh, opens 90 degrees, rotates 90 degrees, and you can see the inside of the box. When it's closed, the lid rotates 0 degrees and the box is shut. So let's actually try to replicate that in this assembly. I've already imported the parts, and before you actually create the configuration, one important thing is that all configurations are based off of mates. Before we can actually configure, there has to be a mate. Let's uh, use a fasten mate and fasten these two parts together. You can use any mate, but for the sake of simplicity, I'm going to use fasten. All right, now we can configure. To start a configuration, you would click the blue cube at the far right corner, and that opens up the configurations panel. And then you will click configure assembly, which creates a table uh, for you to create your configurations. Let's name these set uh, this set of configurations, and let's uh, create a configuration where the lid is closed and one where the lid is open. And then you would go to the configure assembly features button. What this will do is it, it'll ask, it'll, it'll make Onshake ask you which uh, mate to configure. There's only one mate, so let's click that one. And now we have to do a little bit of thinking. How do we make it so that the lid rotates 90 degrees up? So for fasten mates, that goes under offset. There's an option under offset that uh, allows you to rotate the part 90 degrees. And so we'll click the offset feature to configure. Great. And now you'll notice when we go back and edit this, uh, this mate, offset is highlighted. What this means is any changes that we make to the offset feature won't change every single configuration. It'll only change the configurations where we want it to apply to. And so let's change this by rotating 90 degrees. And you can see that the box is open. Uh, click yes, we are satisfied with our change, and then you'll notice something happens in the table. Uh, there's a check mark, and the check mark indicates where the uh, where the feature was applied to, and um, uh, because we want close to remain close to be zero degrees, we don't want the uh, offset to apply for close. We only want offset to apply for open because the offset chain uh, rotates at 90 degrees. And so now that that configuration is done, you can you notice that there's a configurations tab at the top left and where you can alternate between open and closed. All right, that's a basic configuration. Now let's move on to something a little bit more complicated. Uh, and we'll be try to be I'll try to replicate the uh, configurations I created on this uh, elevator subsystem. And you can toggle between all these options, extended, retracted, uh, bottom, top, middle. All right, so let's start. The way that the elevator subsystem is set up is that there are two different parts that move. There's stage two, which is this tall uh, box that moves, and then there's the carriage, which is this small stage that's within stage two. So for the sake of simplicity, I've already um, created the slider mates for both, uh, uh, for both parts. So slider mate two corresponds to stage two, slider mate one corresponds to stage one. I mean the, the carriage, not stage one, sorry. Uh, so let's uh, go to the panel and create our configurations. Configure assembly, and that creates a set of configurations. Let's create, uh, let's make um, stage two our first set. And then we want stage two, we want one where it's fully extended. We want a configuration where it is fully attracted. And then we want a configuration where it can freely move. So let's choose a mate to configure. Because slider 2 controls uh, stage 2, we'll click that one. And then again, we'll have to do a bit of thinking. How do we make it? Uh, so for extended, we want stage 2 to be all the way at the top and it stays at the top without moving. For retracted, we want stage 2 to be all the way at the bottom or it stays at the bottom without moving. And so how do we make it so that the stage, so stage 2 doesn't move? You would have to use limits to uh, limit the movement of the stage. And so you would click limits, and then what you'll notice is that you can also um, configure uh, the, the more specific features, which are the minimum limit and the maximum limit. And so those will be useful, and so we'll configure those too. And so uh, now we have to decide what to edit 
for uh, our different configurations. For extended, we want to keep the same limits, so limits are the same. Uh, but now we go to the minimum and the maximum. For extended, we want the stage to be all the way at the top, so it would be the highest it can be. And the highest it can be is 34 inches. And because we want it to be constantly 34 inches without any movement, we want to stay at 34, and so the minimum is 34 and the maximum is 34. So stay at 4, 34 forever. And uh, moving on to retracted, we want the opposite. We want it to be the lowest it can be forever. And what is the lowest it can be? Zero inches. And so we want both minimum and maximum to be zero inches. We can change that, and that's great. For free, uh, we don't we won't actually change anything because for free we want to be able to freely move between zero and thirty-four inches, which is exactly what the uh, minimum and maximum uh, dictate it to be. And so we'll keep that the same. But that's only one part, that's only stage two. We actually still have to configure the carriage. And to do that, to configure an additional mate, uh, we would click the add configuration input uh, table at the bottom. And this creates another set of configurations for us to work with. And let's make this the, uh, the carriage. Let's make the carriage a little bit more complex. Let's create one configuration at the top, one configuration at the, uh, at the middle. And then one configuration at the bottom, and of course we'll have to have a freely moving configuration. So uh, we'll click the configure assembly features to uh, configure the mate, which is slider one. And then same thing, uh, we want to do limits. So let's start with top. We want it to be all the way at the top. We want to be. Uh, we want the carriage to be as high as it can go, and the highest it can go is 25 inches. So let's change the minimum to 25 inches, and the maximum is all, also 25 inches. So it can't move uh, below 25. So the middle is interesting. We want it to be in the middle, so in between 5 and 25. What number is that? That's 20. And so we want it to be constantly 20, or it can't move from 20. And so we want it to be, we want the maximum and the minimum to be 20. And so we'll do that. And for bottom, uh, it's a bit easier. We want it to be the lowest it can go, and the lowest it can go is five. So both maximum and minimum are five. And free movement, of course, uh, it's free. It can move between five and 25 without any trouble. And that's it. That's it for the configurations for this elevator. So now you can alternate between attracted, extended, free, top, middle, bottom, free. And you can create interesting combinations between the two. Let's say you want stage two to always be retracted, but uh, you can freely move the carriage. You can do that. Let's say you want the carriage to be all the way at the middle, always, and then you want stage two to uh, all the way extend. You can do that too. That's it.